Hello. The purpose of this video is, provide an introduction to the use Meta Warehouse together with the BP connector, getting the call solution, Meta Warehouse 8.0. In version 7, Meta Warehouse is an application that has a metadata, represented in a relational database. Based on information contained in metadata we can create and upload data in a data warehouse, using various data sources. Already BP Connector Solution has a client application called BP Connector Developer. The BP Connector has a language called BPQL, BizPlan and Query Language. This language is the communication between the client and the server. The BP Connector can understand server metadata and has the advantage of making the ETL process between different data sources, as sources of origin and destination. In actual version, we use Meta Warehouse to create a logical model. Based on the logic model we created the data warehouse. We program the process of extraction, transformation and load. We set the process of the implementation period. And we can create a lapse database. In the new solution, use the server only to create the logical model, data warehouse schedule process and creation of OLAP databases with BP connector the process of extract transform and load is execute moving data from any source to any target in the next versions of BP connector we will offer other meta warehouse functions such as creating logical and physical models OLAPs and data entry we will also have to program the charging and schedule and have many other sources and destinations in the ETL process. Other advantages of the new solution Uses web services All settings and execution of the processes can be made by BPQL Has better algorithm with data load performance Works on 64-bit environment Works with process flow Uses data transformations using VB.NET language. Before starting the installation of Mtrhouse with BP Connector, we understand the environmental architecture where the installation will be performed. We have, on one side, representation of clients, where the user manipulates the tool. And the other side, the server where the processes are executed. Suppose that we want to transfer data from the database A to the database B. Using Meta Warehouse version 7, data always started from the origin to the location where the tool was installed. And after undergoing the transformation, were transferred to the destination. In the Meta Warehouse solution with BP Connector, whole process occurs on the server and access interface is through the client. The transformer and load commands are sent to the server over the internet or intranet. Because this metadata registration processes such as creating logical model, creation of physical model, scheduler and creation of commands for building OLAP databases can still be made using the Meta Warehouse. Transferring the process of extraction, transformation and load. For BP Connector Server inheriting a better efficiency and performance. We will emphasize the installation of the solution to your extraction process, transformation and load. But for this we need to be created and configured Meta Warehouse metadata, since the BP Connector uses to access the same metadata. Therefore, the server will install a copy of Meta Warehouse to create the metadata, along with the BP Connector server. Already, the customer, we will only install the BP Connector developer. The prerequisites for this installation on the server, the operating system is Windows. The Microsoft Framework 3.5, and Internet Information Service. Already, the client, we need only the Windows operating system and Microsoft Framework 3.5. Let's start the installation of Meta Warehouse with BP Connector. 
First we will make sure that the server the prerequisites meet the installation. The operating system must be Windows. We can install on a Windows 7, 8, or Windows Server, 2008 onwards. This operating system can be both 32 and 64 bits. Make sure that the Internet Information Service is installed. See the Microsoft.NET Framework version that is installed on the machine. It should be 3.5 or higher. On the server we'll install Meta Warehouse. Let's run the Meta Warehouse installer. Click Next. Accept Meta Warehouse the license term. At this point we must include the product license key. The company name must match the included license key. Confirm. Choose the complete installation option and click Next. Click Next again to start the installation. Wait some time. You do not need to boot the server. Before we continue we need to register the product key. It is necessary that the server has access to the internet for this. Otherwise contact our support for offline registration procedures. Click in register. Upon receiving this message the installation is registered. The next step is to create a database for Meta Warehouse metadata. We will choose the SQL server. But we could also use Oracle as metadata database. Let us connect to the SQL server.
we will create an empty database. Note that the database does not have tables. It will be the meta warehouse that will create them. Finally we will register the database created as a meta warehouse metadata. And create your tables. Entering the Meta Warehouse will choose, from the menu select, Tools, Server Settings. It was created in Meta Warehouse. A scheme called MW Schema. This name will be important later on, when we set up the BP connector for use Meta Warehouse metadata. We will enter the database configuration created earlier, in SQL Server. We will choose first the type of database. After, the same configuration used to access the database through SQL Server. We can click the test button to check if the connection is to your specified settings correctly. By clicking the button represented by a right arrow, we'll save the connection. With the metadata repository configured, an MW will connect to the base. As this metadata is empty we will use a username admin, and the password blank. This user is always created when we are setting, the first time Meta Warehouse metadata. Then we can change the password for another with better security. At this time the Meta Warehouse will present a series of questions regarding the creation of metadata's tables. Answer all with yes. We can connect again an SQL Server and watch the created metadata tables. We can see that all the tables were created, with the same name suffix equal to the connection created in Meta Warehouse. In our case MW Schema. For the BP connector can access the Meta Warehouse metadata, we must to create the model, even if it is empty.
from the main menu select file connection let us connect using the default user set when the metadata creation in main menu select logical models create let's define a name for the model By clicking the button represented by a right arrow will save the model. Let's start the installation of BP Connector Web Service. With the administrator privilege, run the setup program. Select the site, virtual directory and the application pool, to be used in the installation. We will check if the settings and internet information service are correct. It may be that, by default, the settings created in the environment are not necessary for the correct use of BP Connector. Click Application Pool. Check next to in the Application Pool, chosen for BP Connector installation, we have selected version, v2.0. Also make sure the site chosen for installation is started. Let's look at the available settings of BP Connector Server. We will edit the web config file, that is called in the physical directory, where the web service is installed. Below tag app settings, have several BP connector server configuration parameters. Make sure that in your installation have the following parameters. Type equals zero. This parameter indicates what type of metadata will be used by BP connector. Zero means that the metadata will be internal, stored on the server disk. One if the metadata is in a SQL server database. 2 if the metadata is stored in an Oracle database. In own web config included in the installation, we have among the comment symbol, examples of DB type settings for SQL Server or Oracle. The BPC server parameter specifies a Meta Warehouse server. If it is empty the location of Meta Warehouse server is specified by the client connection. In some installations, particularly corporate, this location is previously defined on the server itself. Leave this parameter with the value as shown in the video, that is, empty. BPC type is not applied in case of connection BP connector with Meta Warehouse. DB type MW specifies what kind of metadata Meta Warehouse the BP connector metadata is associated. 
If the value 0 means that the Meta Warehouse server is specified by the client connection. Similar to DB type parameter, if the value is equal to 1, we specify this metadata with a database SQL server, and 2, to an Oracle database. After installation, we will test the access service. We will access the Internet Explorer on the machine where the service was installed. Enter the address of the BP Connector service as shown on the screen. Select the highlighted option on the screen. Next we see the parameters for access to BP Connector. First we include the Meta Warehouse user, that was created automatically when the MW schema was configured. Then we include the address of the BP Connector metadata access. In the case of integration with Meta Warehouse, Use the letters M and W, followed by a colon, and then the name of scheme created when the metadata configuration. This parameter represents the maximum wait time for a response from the server. Parameter that represents the language to use. In this version we have only English as possible parameter, represented by EN commands to test whether the service is installed correctly. Do not forget to put the end of the command, semicolon. Return type. We will see what options exist. For now the place shown in the video. Click the button. If we look at the message shown in the video means that the installation has happened without problems. Before we run installers on the client machine we'll check the prerequisites. In addition, to having to be installing BP Connector Developer in the Windows operating system, is necessary to have the Microsoft.NET Framework 3.5 or higher. Using the browser, we'll check if access to BP Connector Server is available through client machine where the BP Connector developer will be installed. Check the video the address of the web service. We will install the BP Connector developer. Run the installer. Confirm the Microsoft.NET Framework installation if necessary. Please install in the default directory. After installation we will set up the BP Connector Server Access.
we have, in the Windows menu, the Biz Plan Developer Program. In Main menu, we will choose File, Connect. We see the login screen BP Connector. In Services we have the list of places where we can connect. An installation of BP Connector Developer you can access, through web services, multiple servers. Below the username and password, will be the same username and password in Meta Warehouse. On the Connections button, we'll manage the connections with BP Connector servers. In this screen we can create, change, or delete connections with BP Connector Server. Above, a toolbar where we can import a configuration file previously built. Save the settings for this client, for a file to be transported to another machine. Create, delete, and save the configuration. Finally close the screen. Let's create a connection to the BP Connector Server installed. We will include a name for this connection. Below we specify the URL address of BP Connector. This address is the location of the web service. It may be in a server on an intranet, or even a server being accessed over the internet. This address is the same used during installation, to determine if the client was accessing the server. Let's copy the address of the browser section created in the previous steps. It always will be the server name, either an IP, DNS, a fancy name, like, mycompany.com. Then, always followed by the location of the server internally, as highlighted on the screen. The language parameter is required, but no effect on the connection when combined with Meta Warehouse metadata. It should highlight that BP Connector, can work together with other metadata tools management bases, such as SAP BPC. But in the case of access using Meta Warehouse, this parameter has no meaning. Come on, always include the letters EN. In BPC Server tab we associate with the metadata management, in this case the Meta Warehouse metadata. The address to specify access to Meta Warehouse metadata will always be the M, N, W letters, followed by a colon, and then followed by Meta Warehouse schema name set when the creating it. Let's save this setting. Now, this new connection, makes the list of access options by the BP Connector developer. With the created connection, we access the BP Connector, using the same username and password used in Meta Warehouse. As this is the first access, we need to register the BP Connector license. This license is different from the product installation key used when the Meta Warehouse installation. Although separate controls, access to the Meta Warehouse metadata will be validated by Meta License. In this screen we see the License Manager BP Connector. We can see above the address of the servers, web service and metadata and below a button to select the file extension to be BPC leak added to the server. After registration we can see the license properties such as Number of users that can access the BP connector Company that owns the license License type License validity
the BP connector interface is divided into three areas. The first region shows the BP connector objects. We can navigate through the tree to view these entities. The second area is an editor where the commands of BPQL language will be inserted. Finally we see below the region where we will see the result of BPQL commands. In the tree have two main groups. The first is the original objects of Meta Warehouse metadata. Today only visualize models logical. However, it should be noted, if the goal is just to transfer data from a source to a any destination, this process does not involve any object of Meta Warehouse. In this scenario we use the Meta Warehouse metadata serves only as a connection environment. Any programming is done only in BP Connector. Already, in the second group, we have the BP Connector entities. It should highlight the security and transfer group. On the security group we have the register of Meta Warehouse user, created automatically when creating the metadata tables. In BP Connector does not create new users. Just associate them the users created in Meta Warehouse. All the security set in Meta Warehouse will be inherited by BP Connector. Already, below, on license, we have the record of BP Connector license used in this installation. Through the interface you can register new licenses with different number of configurations user and validity. Below the transfer tab have the objects to the creation of the ETL process. Right now our environment is ready to be used. Of course, this solution allows many other types of settings. It should be emphasized that with the Meta Warehouse together with the BP connector, ETL processes will be much more flexible and efficient producers making more comprehensive tool next to an integration solution between environments and systems.